DBT Labs released the DBT Cloud CLI very recently, which is still in public preview. Today, we are going to see how we can install and configure it in a MacBook. We will also see how we can use it alongside the VS Code extension DBT Power user. We will follow the DBT documentation for this installation. Let's get started with it. So we will head back to the terminal and we'll open up our terminal in our VS code. All right. So the first command is switch dbt. This is to see if we have already dbt installed in our environment or not. But since we have a Python environment activated and it has dbt installed in it, so I will just deactivate this environment. Okay, now we will execute the dbt command. So dbt not found, so far so good. Next, we will use homebrew to install dbt CLI. So we will copy this command to see if there is any thing with dbt cloud in homebrew. No, good. Now we will install it. That's it, we have it installed. Now we will check if our installation is successful. For that we will just execute this dbt help command. And if we see this, that means our dbt cloud CLI installation is successful. Now, we will clone a repository and we will run the code through dbt cloud cli but we already have our repository cloned in the laptop we will just use that now we will just click on this link to configure our dbt cloud cli okay so Configuring DBT Cloud CLI means we have to meet the prerequisites first. So obviously we will have to have a project set up in DBT Cloud that we already do. We have our analytics project that we will use for this tutorial. And then we must have our personal development credentials set for this project. And we have that here because I'm already logged in and I'm using the developer portal or IDE. So I already have that. And we must be on DBT version 1.5 or higher that I can confirm that I have 1.7 in DBT cloud. So good. Configure the DBT Cloud CLI. Now comes the configuration part. So obviously we need the prerequisites. Now we will have to download the credentials from DBT Cloud. So for that, we will click one of these links. For me, this one works. You can try each one of these and see which one works. And if this new page comes with you logged in like this, then that's the page you are looking for. Now we have already done this. We will just need to download this configuration file. So we'll just click on it. We have it downloaded. All right. Next thing is we'll have to place that file in dbt cloud or rather dbt dot dbt folder in a Mac since we're using a Mac. 
we will place it here. So I will go to the command line to do that. So the file is downloaded in the downloads folder. I just copy it over to the dot dvd folder. Make sure I'll force it. So I'll make sure it's there. Yep. We have two files here. Now we will have to go to our project repository and we will have to add this part in the dvd project file so i'll just copy it and go to vs code and go to dvd project and paste it here now we need the project id for that we can go to our dvd cloud ide and this is the id of the project i'll just copy it and replace this with the actual id and that's it that's how we set it up. Now, if we run a model from here, it will use the DVT Cloud CLI to run the model through DVT Cloud. Let's try that. Let's say we are running customers. Yeah, as you see, sending project to DVT Cloud. So our installation is successful. We'll just wait for it to execute. Now our, our project or our model has been executed through DBT Cloud CLI. As you see, we have the task ID for the execution and it has been finished successfully. Now we will see how to use it alongside DBT Power User, the famous extension for DBT Core with VS Code. For that, we will create an alias of dbt cloud cli in our rc file it can be bash rc it can be bash profile or it can be zsh rc whichever shell you have installed in your mac so for that i'll just add i'll check where my dbt cloud cli installation file is or where the binary is This is the DVT Cloud CLI binary. I'll just take it, copy it, and I'll add an alias in the SH in the RC file for the shell. So we'll do I'll create an alias with the name of DVT Cloud. This value like this and append it at the end of our RC file. We'll confirm that this line has been appended properly. That we have now. Now we can source this RC file 
and have dbt cloud command as well available in the terminal. Yes, we have it. Let us say help. Yep. So the aliasing is successful. Now, if I activate our dbt project environment, should be able to use both dbt core, which is the dbt power user, and dbt cloud CLI as well. Okay. So now if I say dbt, um, because from the customer's model with dbt run command, it should use dbt core instead of dbt cloud. Because dbt core is installed in our dbt project environment. As you see, we are not using cloud now. Yep, model run is successful. Now we will try to use our dbt cloud command line interface. Now this is sending the execution of to dbt cloud as we see here. Well, the model run is successful to dbt cloud CLI. Now we will use the dbt power user extension to execute this model. This should use dbt core because to this state, dbt power user extension uses dbt core under that. And it is not compatible with dbt cloud CLI yet. Yes, as you see in the log, there is no mention of cloud. 